welcome or welcome back to my channel whether you've been here before this is your first time i am really happy that you are here so you've seen a title i'm gonna preface this by i've already done this video before this is why i'm part two and i knew that my end product of my first video kind of looked more like a loot donkey than a loot llama but i was like eh who's gonna really watch my video most of my videos get like 30 views, like it's all family watching it. None of them are gonna make it. If they really wanted one, they'd just make me make it, you know? So like, who cares? Um, and then one of my videos, it has uh, 32,000 views. So as you can imagine, the traffic on my videos and stuff got a little bit up. So um, now, let me, Scooch on. If you hear the train, I'm sorry, but I hear the train at night, so you should feel sorry for me. Um, now 5,000, almost 6,000 people have seen my loot donkey, and uh, someone even commented that it looked like a donkey, and it was like, yeah, I know, um, but I already did it, so it's too late, and it's been bothering me for a while now so i figured might as well do it again do it better more llama less donkey so yeah let's get started <laughs> okay so first things first we're gonna start off with a box now i gotta think are you actually gonna use this as a pinata is it just gonna be a decoration for the table what you gonna do with it are you gonna put stuff in it? That kind of stuff. So like, I'm not gonna use it probably. So I'm gonna use a smallish box. Just, you want one that has some height to it, like this one, if you put it you know, this way, it's got some height to it, you know? You want the long neck to look good. So first things first, need a box, get a good box, get a long box. Next. <laughs> so we have a box, we need paper, Pencil, scissors, tape, hot glue, and then we need light blue, dark blue, dark purple, and light purple tissue paper and slash or streamers, however you can get all these colors. Um, most of this stuff you can get at Dollar Tree. Okay, so you are either going to draw or you're going to print out the llama specifically his neck is really important and then just cut it out and that's going to be your stencil for your box now trace your llama onto the box um, you don't have to worry about the ears yet so I'm ignoring those and then make sure when you do go to the other side you flip it the other way and you're it matches up on the right side of the box or you're gonna cut it out and it's not gonna fit. Now you're gonna cut your llama out and make sure you keep the extra pieces that you're cutting off of your box because you are gonna use those to close up your llama so it, there's not just empty spaces. Here I use a combination of hot glue and tape to close them up because I am so impatient. I was not trying to wait for the hot glue to dry. So you can use both if you need to. Now my box had special pieces on it for it to open and close. So I actually used that piece from the top of the box to make a little flap on the top. So then there's a spot for me to open it up and put candy in it if we choose to use it as an actual pinata. So for the ears, I drew a triangle, then I actually cut a little bit around them so there was extra space for me to fold it and make the ear 3D.
Then after I cut it out, I'm using a ruler to help bend the extra parts of the ear so I can make it 3D. And before you start the fringe, you're gonna cover your llama's head in purple. Then you see me cutting out strips of tissue paper and then making the fringe. You'll do that with whatever color, whatever medium you're using. I also punched holes so you can use scissors or a hole puncher so you can string your llama and use it as an actual pinata. And now that I have all my little fringe pieces cut out, I'm gluing them on in the same order as the pinata here that you see on the side. Now I'm going to use that paper I mentioned earlier to make all the details, his eyes, the straps around him, his little saddle backpack thing he has going on. Um, I draw a arrow on one side and a treasure chest on the other because when you look on pictures he has both. I don't know if he has both at the same time but that's what I did. And here I am doing some fixing. Um, the cats gave him a test drive yesterday and ran him around the house. Um, anyways, on to the legs. So using blue paper and black paper to wrap around our little rolls and then gluing them on. And there we go. We got his little legs. Also, apparently last time I forgot his tail. So here's his tail. <laughs> and... There is our Loot Llama Piñata Part 2. Hopefully, you guys think it's a lot better than last time. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully, you'll watch another one of my videos. Like, subscribe if you want, no pressure. Okay, bye.